What's up everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a four month update on my Kale Berry Peacock Bass. I know I've seen a few of you guys asking about them. Uh, these guys are doing absolutely amazing. Putting on a lot of size since I've had them, since I've gotten them four months ago. Um, I remember when they were only eating blood worms. Now these guys eat anything from you know, blood worms, pellets, shrimp, tilapia. Uh, uh, we got this up here, this seafood mix here. These guys eat anything I put up here. They would eat the squid, the clam, the scallop, you know, the shrimp. Uh, they go crazy for this stuff. All my fish do. Uh, you guys should pick some of this stuff up as well. It's a seafood mix. Uh, I think you can get it from like Meyer or Walmart, something like that. But, uh, yeah, these guys are putting on a lot of size. We're gonna give these guys some shrimp here. Um. Yeah, it don't take much to feed these guys. That guy's already done over there. He's full. It don't take much. We also got a uh, a rhino pleco here. He rarely makes an appearance. He's always hiding. Can't wait to see that guy. Uh, I think they get about a foot. And uh, we also got a new fish. Uh, it's off in the corner over there. I'm not sure if you can really see. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. There is a fire eel in here. We've added a fire eel to the channel, guys. Let me see if I can kind of coax him out with a shrimp. See if he'll eat out of my hand. See if we can get him to come out. See if I can give you guys a better look at them. Yeah, we'll move this massive piece of driftwood out the way. I mean, you can kind of see them right there. Kind of in the back, hanging out back there, guys. We, we got a fire real though. I swear he's back there. I don't want to stress him out since I just got him and all. Kind of want him to get just acclimated whenever he feels the need to get comfortable. But that is that is it for my uh, four month update on my Kelberry Peacock bag, guys. Um, and we have a new fish, a fire eel. If you guys want to give me some uh, tips or pointers out there, anybody that's ever had a fire eel before, uh, any tips on getting this guy comfortable uh, coming out for hand feeding and all that stuff. I know it's going to take a while. I just got him in there. Um, so I know it's going to take a minute, let him get acclimated into his new environment. But I also want to tell you guys, I know I've seen a couple of you guys asking about my 40 gallon too. Uh, these guys, they wind up eating uh, their, their spawn guys. It was bound to happen. Tank is way too crowded. Um, and this is, you know, their first spawn, just seeing, uh, you know, doing research and kind of just reading a lot about people who have bred angelfish. You know, they're not, they're not gonna get it right on the first time. A lot of them do tend to eat their eggs, especially in, in something like this. This is only a 40 breeder. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of overcrowded. So I'm pretty sure they were gonna be stressed out. And, but the good thing is, is that I do have a pair. I don't have to go through the process of, you know, buying a gang of angelfish and letting them, you know, pair up. Uh, I, uh, by luck, 
you know, got an angelfish pair, you know, got these guys on separate dates and wind up being a pair. So, but they wind up eating the eggs, but I have been working on this little rack here. Uh, this is a kind of like a four tier 10 gallon rack that I kind of set up for these guys. You know, maybe might put some breeding pair of pistols in here from different species or grow some fry out, but I kind of been working on this thing here. So that doesn't happen again. Next time that that happens, I should have taken the eggs out and kind of raised them myself, but I, I didn't have anything going. So I took those 10 gallons that were from down here and I might put like a, probably like a 40 or 50 gallon down there or something like that. It was supposed to be a, a double rack, but that's a different story um, for, for another day. But uh, yeah, spawn is gone. But good thing is that I do have a pair and uh, whenever I just get this set up or get something else set up or whenever I transfer, like I said, a lot of these guys were going into that 125 whenever I moved those bass out of there. And uh, I might just leave my angel fishing here to kind of do their thing. But yeah, guys, we, we have a fire eel. Can't wait till he gets a little more comfortable so I can start to see him more throughout the tank. Uh, and that was just an update on my 125. Peacock bass are doing well. And if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.